I think it was a good moment to lose, actually. Mm -hmm. Just make sure, okay, if we don't play to our standards, we lose against any team in MSI. So make sure it doesn't happen again. Hello everyone, this is Darius from The Shot Caller, joined here by G2 Grabs. Uh, first of all, thank you for taking your time uh, to do this with me. Of course, today, uh, O2, not the best result, quite disappointing in fact. Uh, what are your immediate thoughts on the two games against Fong Wu and Tia? I think it showed in the games that we were a bit more relaxed, because we knew we were secured for second or third. Um, so, preparation was at on point. Um, certain discussions that should have happened didn't happen before draft. So, the draft itself were not ideal. And then also in the gameplay it showed that we took more fights than we should have, especially against Fong Wu, where I think if we play to our standards, we just go sides and end the game with 6-1 up long 5-0 rise. Instead, we go into the jungle, try to fight, and then suddenly get Nash and end the game. So neither preparation nor gameplay was really clean today. Um, but we all were fun of that, we realized what happened. And it's very easy to adapt towards the best of five, um, seeing from what happened today. Was the result against TL therefore a bit of a result of tilt from the from the PvP game? Uh, not really, no. Um, I think both games in isolation we just played bad and they played better. Like I don't want to make any excuses. I can just say that we didn't prepare as much. And with given that fact, playing against a good team, of course we lose, right? So they fully deserve the wins. Uh, we deserve the losses, but we are very confident that with a bit of preparation, a bit more focus going into semifinals, we can get a good result. What was the immediate reaction you had when the team came back after the TL game? I mean, everybody is firstly just mad and looking for reasons what happened, because even though we knew it doesn't matter that much, I mean, of course, seeding is important. Um, we still want to win, of course, right? Nobody wants to go into a day and lose 0-2. Um, but then, as always with this team, it's very easy to find discussions and um, to find food for discussions. So everything that was said, we can actually take into the best of fives. Um, no hard feelings, everybody just spent it if they had to. And we cleared everything up, so um, I think it was a good moment to lose, actually. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure, okay, if we don't play to our standards, we lose against any team in MSI. So make sure it doesn't happen again. So are you confident in saying that, the, that there will be a mental reset ahead of uh, semifinals in Taipei? Yeah, for sure, and that's one of the biggest strengths for this team, that every, everybody of the five players can just do that on, on the moment's notice. So I don't think mentality will be a big issue. Okay. So confident into going into those semifinals, whoever it will be, a bit scared that it might be IG though? I mean, we take whoever, right? In the end, um, this team wants to win. So if we lose against IG in the semifinals, then we wouldn't have won the tournament anyways, so whatever. Um, of course, it's always nice for the history books and whatever to be in the finals, and uh, then SKT might be easier. But in the end, we need to win whoever comes, right? Right, that's fair. Now, it, there was apparently a post-game interview with Rookie uh, recently where he did say that if they had the chance, they would pick SKT 100%. <laughs> so that would have been a chance for you to play TL or at the time Flash Wolves. Is that maybe a bit of a stinger now in retrospect? I, I mean, I think he's joking a bit. I think mm -hmm. if he had to choose between G2 and SKT, he would choose SKT. I think Liquid still is the easier choice for them. Correct. So even though he said that one, I think um, it's a bit tongue-in-cheek. Yeah. And again, as I said, right, it doesn't matter. Like, if we want to beat, beat a tournament, we need to beat SKT, we need to beat Telegram, we need to beat um, IG. So we have a comes to take. Assuming that you guys will play SKT, you already have to owe them twice. But of course it is SKT. They've looked a lot stronger over the, the last few days. Um, what are your, like, personal thoughts on that potential matchup? Uh, it's going to be very exciting, for sure. Um, people are right in saying that SKT is a different beast than the best of five, but so are we. Um, traditionally, we're a slow setter team. Our first game, if you think back against Origin, both first games were way worse than the, the two after. So we're actually a team which does not benefit from best of one, even though people think that way. So I think while they will work on the fundamentals and how they approach the game, I think we have more rotation in the draft itself. That means the longer the series goes, the more tricks we have up our sleeves. And it's going to be interesting to see because they're going to change their approach. They're not going to concede the early game as much anymore. So we're going to see two teams attacking the early game and um, just battling it out. Very macro heavy, I think, because, yeah, just a skitty, right? At the end of the day, uh, G2 had some amazing games, some, you know, 2 0 against SKT, but the scoreline says 5 and 5. Is that still, even though it's just, you know, for the statistics, just for the history books, it's still, that's still a bit of a stinger to, to look at that scoreline and go, hey, we actually played a lot better in most of these games. I mean, our kryptonite is gone. PUB is not in the semifinals, so that's very good. Uh, we don't have a losing record besides, any, like, besides IG. Um, so, therefore, we're quite happy about that one. Uh, but yeah, I mean, of course, we want to win more games. And being 5-5 in the end after such a good start kind of sucks. But we know why it happened. We put a finger on it and we can fix it for semifinals. And that's what matters in the end. 
very excited for that. Finally, anything you would like to say to the G2 fans after such a rough <laughs> day? I mean, thanks for your support. Also, thanks for your memes if you want to flame somebody, especially me. I appreciate them. They're pretty good, so keep doing that for sure. And we just leave to f we love to feel that you guys are with us. So if you're mad or happy, whatever happens, it's just nice to share it because that just gives us strength for the next game. So thanks, uh, thanks to all of you for the support. And finally, the hashtag, your personal one. Oh my god, yeah, that's your shtick, right? <laughs> I know. LFC win, maybe? That's, that's a mean one. <laughs> no, but for, for Champions League, you know? Hashtag no more vain. Yes, be yeah. a good one. Hashtag what? No more vain. Hashtag no more vain. I think we can all agree on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Grabs for your time. Make sure to follow and maybe flame him a bit on Twitter. <laughs> Just kidding. Sure. This is Darius from the Shot Caller here from MSI 2019 Group Stage. We'll see you guys from at semifinals in Taipei where G2 might Will win. Will win. Will win. Will win. <laughs> Very exciting. Might win, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys in the final. I'd especially like to thank Christoph Buinovic, Thomas Göttel, Etienne, Erich Althaus, Lukas Legal, Lazy Raven, Lama Vyuta and Adam Novosviat for your very special support and of course also all the people whose names you see scrolling past you without you guys we would have closed down probably a while ago so thank you so much for your help thank you.